Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I put up my canvas drop cloth curtains for my patio. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I hope you stick around. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. here in my patio so what I'm gonna do is give it a little bit of privacy but just a little bit of a nicer look also and I kind of want to enclose it also that way like um, when nighttime comes at least this area right here will be nice and close to where we have some privacy from there and I guess over there I went to Lowe's and I bought some canvas drop cloth now there are different sizes. The ones that I purchased were six by nine and this one that I bought was like $13 a piece. So again, I bought four of them. And then I wanted to put some nice curtain rods up here but just because I wanted to keep it like on a budget because the canvas was already like kind of more than I wanted to spend on it. So I, I bought these at Lowe's also and here's the product and, and these you screw on. And then I purchased three of these packages of clip rings at Walmart. These were like $4 and change a piece. They have seven each. And so I'm gonna need tw at least 20 because I'm gonna put at least five of the rings on each of the curtains, which I still think that might not be enough. I might have to go out and purchase another one. I didn't really think it through because it might be kind of heavy. Um, but for right now, uh, I will go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the curtain rods right here. So I'm gonna put two two curtains there. And then over here on, in, on this end, it's a little longer, so it goes from being down to going up. So my curtains may not be level. ones I got are too short but once you get to the middle they start getting really kind of flimsy I would recommend just splurging on nice curtain rods if you want um, these are cheaper so you get what you pay for in my videos I'm gonna try to show you guys like if I make a mistake or if something doesn't work out because then you know I don't want you guys to start your process and then find that it's not working out like how I showed you in the end result so so I'm gonna shorten that up and then Let's see how it looks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the drop cloth long enough to cover but not long enough to touch the ground. So I'm gonna fold it about 27 inches over and then I'm gonna clip it and then put the hooks on there. Actually, I'm gonna put the rings on there first and then hook the, hook the drop cloth.
final results on my curtains. As you can see, the length of the fold is different on the curtains to the right. As I had showed you earlier, the roof cover goes at an angle, so it goes from low to high. So I kind of had to work with what I had and adjust the length of the curtain. Eventually, I'll invest in nicer curtain rods that are going to fit the whole thing to avoid the gaps here. But for right now, this does the trick. It gives us a lot of privacy and it looks really pretty at night. I will show you guys how this looks like in the daytime, but I still have a lot more projects to finish. Once those are all done, I will show you the final look. For now, this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe, hit that little bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.